I'm getting sick. Are you taking me out on the balcony? We outside. <laughs> Guys, bad news about the podcast. Uh, this will be the last digital bazooka. Drew has moved to Puerto Rico. He's an island boy now. Oh, I might move out here. <laughs> what is that? It's a, it's a bacon, egg, and jambon. You got jambon? <laughs> Jimbo. I got Jimbo on this sandwich. Oh, Jimbo's here, dude. Jimbo's back. Andy's back. We're doing digital bazooka on the fucking internet. This is... <laughs> God damn. where I was supposed to have. It's good to see you, man. I can't, I can't believe... You're full island boy now. Oh, God. You, dude, you're fucking frozen. <laughs> you're frozen halfway through a Jimbo. <laughs> Can you hear me? Oh, yeah. You're gonna have to move to your phone, I guess. This is no good. This, I mean, this is bad news. <laughs> All right. All right, you moved to your phone? All right, well, that was fun. I think I'm back. All right. What? So you froze in the middle of a jambone? Yeah, I think I got to just be inside for this. I don't know. The fucking, the Wi-Fi is spotty in the great state of Puerto Rico. Are you in the country? I don't even know. I guess it's a uh, territory of the U.S. Yeah, they were they were explaining to us yesterday that uh, these boys got their fucking asses whipped in the Spanish American War, and somehow they became ours. So we just <laughs> we just own Mexicans cool. now. <laughs> yeah, we just kicked their ass in the <laughs> war, and now they're fucking part of us, dude. It's pretty cool. A lot of ladies out here. What are the what are they looking like? <laughs> Oh my god. The senioritas. Um, bunch of fucking specimens out here. <laughs> it's Dude, crazy. It's nuts. It is, it's why This place sucks to walk around with your girl. Because you just gotta be like... I didn't notice that either. That's crazy. What, was there nine, at, at hot, all time, nine hot Latinas? I didn't even register that. At all times, I'm just fucking... There's seismic activities going on in my head. And I'm like, I didn't even... I don't even know what those are, dude. Speaking of that, I mean, did you did you hear about what happened in our beautiful home state yesterday? Yeah, I heard. What? How? How bad was it? It was crazy. I was here. I was at the fucking at the the battle station, and my fucking room started shaking. <laughs> the cats are freaking out. I thought I thought there was like dickheads doing construction downstairs, uh, and I went and looked outside on the street, and dudes didn't seem to even notice it was happening. But up a couple floors, this bitch was shaking. Yeah, dude, everybody seems to uh, have had their whole lives upturned yesterday by the damn earthquake. <laughs> by fucking, by the earthquake. Dude, it was like a, it was like a front row at a Travis Scott concert up here, dude. It was, it was, <laughs> I mean, my fiance's dead. It's fucking, life's good. I'm coming to Puerto Rico. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, are the island boys there? No. Have you met them yet? No, I'm on the I'm on the hunt for Jake Paul. <laughs> I'm just out here, I'm just out here trying to find Jake Paul and fucking whip his ass. <laughs> is he down there? He's training for. Uh... I heard he is. Oh, that's what's. I up. heard he lives there. <laughs> Jake Paul lives here. <laughs> but they're telling me I don't know. It's all the, all the people here are so dumb. They're just pumped about Jake Paul living here and like. That's it. They're like, oh no taxes, Jake Paul. Okay. The whole island's like a like a content creator house. <laughs> it is. Oh, this place does rule, bro. Ten out of ten would recommend. How long? I you... ate at a place where uh, I ate at a place where Guy Fieri was yesterday. That's so huge. That's always cool. Yeah, they have a big picture of Guy Fieri on the wall, and I was like, "That's where we're going." <laughs> yeah, I mean that dude was meant to be on the island. That boy got Caribbean blood. <laughs> <laughs> Did you order what he ordered? I do like. No, I don't know what what exactly the the guy the guy himself ordered. <laughs> I do like the idea of Guy Fieri just coming down here and fucking just talking like an old Southern colonial dude. <laughs> hey, make 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 me that rice and chicken, bitch. Um, bitch, if you don't get me a fruit bowl, <laughs> I want a damn acai I bowl. I don't know how. I have no idea how Guy Fieri sounds. Are you serious? He sounds like Gary Owen. He does like uh, 
He does like really? he does like vague black scent. Like he'll just go into I kitchens. Really yeah, he'll no, Guy Fieri. He'll go to the kitchen at like a soul food restaurant and be like, "Damn, player, that shit. Y'all cooking up something special <laughs> back here." I, I say, "Goddamn." <laughs> I say, goddamn, bitch. That's exactly how Guy Fieri sounds. <laughs> yeah. Hey, whenever Man, this sauce hitting. Yeah, whenever he likes a food cooked by a black person, he always says, that is gangster. He does. He's <laughs> like. <laughs> yo, you crazy, player. <laughs> You're like, yo, you don't have to do this, guy. Made the hell out of them eggs. Like, you didn't sound like this 10 minutes ago. <laughs> Before the cameras were rolling, you did not sound like this. I said, bitch, who made me these eggs? <laughs> uh, Yo, these eggs is different. <laughs> They're like, alright, guy. You remember that trend <laughs> that was, like, a popular a couple years ago? Dudes would go into kitchens, like, fast food restaurants, and be like, who made this? Who made this Crunch Wrap Supreme? <laughs> and the guy's like, oh, I, I did. He's like, this shit good as hell! <laughs> <laughs> I used to hate it, but I, now looking back on it, it was the funniest shit ever. The dude that would go in Subway and be like, oh, who made these cookies? <laughs> the cookies and like throw them at the fucking <laughs> the Yo, these cookies good as hell. <laughs> just start throwing them. Ooh yeah, that guy ruled. I oh. hope he's doing well. God, that guy became a rapper. Oh, really? Yeah, uh, Fat Boy SSE. Dude, most people that most people that fucking wreak havoc in public places on on the internet, they end up being rappers. Why do you think that is? That's so strange. Because they're black. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, cut it. No, I'm kidding. Cancel um, the show. <laughs> is the mic on? Still? <laughs> um, this is cool. This feels like Zoom comedy in 2020. Dude, yeah. Let's invite I'll some people. Let's do some. Uh, let's do some roast battles. Get some people in here. See who else can join the Zoom. <laughs> Fucking. Dude, I remember doing a Zoom show at Jay Simpson's house. It was like me and like seven other comics. We were all hanging out in his kitchen and he had the, the camera set up in his bedroom. And one by one, we would just go into Jay's bedroom and bomb for five to ten minutes. Just do a set and then for walk no one. Out and, like, <laughs> and then walk out and be like. And where'd my drink go? That do you, do you so have, like, gross. AirPods? Could you put in AirPods or something? Do they have Does those? help? Yeah, maybe. I'm worried people can hear me twice. Hold on. Uh, headphones. Oh, yeah, those will work. Wired boy. <laughs> I got yeah. them wired bitches. That shit was crazy. I, just, I saw Jay uh, two days ago for the first time, and quite a while since he moved to new york he shot a special last night hey samson in philadelphia shot a, a special at friendly lounge i understand i was doing a show for uh antifa non-binary people and it was really fun yeah i mean you fucking crush those dude i'm telling um if if you show up all of our friends are shooting specials now yeah you uh I, I, that's sick um you know yours. oh it's coming uh punchline's gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna headline one of their gay showcases i'm gonna record uh 12 minutes it's gonna be on youtube call it a special and uh it's only for patreon <laughs> oh dude i fucking i don't even go ahead go ahead no, I, did... I, was saying, I don't even think i do comedy anymore are you not doing stand-up so in long. down on the island <clears throat> Oh, wait. There you go. You're back. Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. I think, yeah, we're back. All right. Well, I'm glad that worked. Let me grab my uh, jam bone real quick. Yeah, I need that. Um, What was I saying? Oh, so I did, a, I did Nightcap Thursday at Helium. And it was uh -huh. like, I did like all new jokes, riffing. Crowd was hot. Shit was so fun. And it was like, uh, at the end, I was like, you know, I'll do one, uh, I'll do one tried and true joke to like close this thing out and get out of here. And then, play yeah, play. I was like, well, let's give them one hit. They're they're wet. They're ready. 
let's knock this thing out of the park. And then this fucking mm. bitch sitting in the front row <clears throat> yelled out the punchline from the joke. Because she had... It wasn't like she guessed it. It was like a pretty specific one. And I was like, have you seen me do this joke here before? And she was like, yeah. <laughs> Like, you fucking, you bitch. I hope you fucking, I was so angry. <laughs> I was so, how often are you going to nightcap, like, hanging out at Helium at fucking midnight, watching dorks? That's crazy. Yeah, a, a lineup of 14 of the worst comedians you've ever heard of. And me. And you. <laughs> um, yeah, it's, I do love nightcap, but it has slowly just become ladies that Fennel wants to have sex with, including you. <laughs> the, whole, the whole lineup is just women that Fennel thinks he can fuck. It's like, uh, you know, after a couple beers, I might I might have sex with uh, Chris Helio. I don't know. <laughs> I'd fucking put it in Chris Helio, why not? Uh, that is true, though. <laughs> yeah. She fucking yelled out the damn... I was, I was heated. I was like, you, I hope you die. I hope it... <laughs> Hope a new 9-11 happens and only you die. That would be great. be pretty crazy if a fucking plane hit a building and one person died. Yeah, but that's what happened to um, that that bridge, kind of. Yeah, that was all nonsense. A fucking hologram of a boat hit a hologram of a bridge and, like, one laborer is gone now. Yeah. He's probably down there with you. A the hologram of... Yeah, the hologram of Tupac died on that fucking bridge. It's crazy. Uh, have you not? It was nuts that <laughs> the day it happened, they were like, there were like 70 million people died on the bridge. And then like 12 hours later, they're like, here's the thing. There was actually no cars on it. Yeah. It was just a couple, a couple dudes hanging on the bridge. There was actually. It was just Mexicans <laughs> drinking on the bridge. <laughs> it's crazy. It was that scene in Shawshank where they're drinking beers hanging off the edge of a building. Yeah. <laughs> it's like the fucking, that picture of the iron worker yeah. up there on the bridge. It's crazy. The, the boys are tripping but, up there on the, on the metal beam just hanging above a building, New York City. How was they doing? <laughs> the hell? If I lived in New York, I'd be on the ground like, yo, get y'all funny asses down. <laughs> get y'all goofy asses. Yo, why y'all up so high? <laughs> it's just Guy, Guy Fieri seeing dudes on the beam. This motherfucker's get on a beam. <laughs> this boy's on the beam. <laughs> he calls everybody son. <laughs> yo, this shit hitting, son. Oh, God. <laughs> oh. Wait, you're gonna love this. Does this work? Hang on. Uh, uh, you're gonna... <laughs> Digital bazooka, baby, we're podcasting. Did you make a soundboard just to have the? I woke up in a new Bugatti. It's just on Discord. This is. I'm on here like playing video games with my friends, and they'll be like trying to clutch up in a game. And I'll be like, oh, well, God. I got a bunch of these. <laughs> this is what, uh. That's, that's kind of that's gay, but hey. <laughs> football is coming up. That's cool. Yeah. Um, but yeah, man. I've, uh, you, I, so you're not trying to do uh, any stand-up down there? You're not doing any sets in Espanol? No. I mean, no one, like, most people don't speak English. It's crazy. You should try and do a set. I'm like walking... <laughs> I'm literally walking around with my fucking my iPhone translator out at all times. I'm just typing in English and showing it to people and being like, yeah. It is funny. I type like a fucking... It's like, I'm not trying to disrespect them, if that makes sense. Right. So, like, but I realized I kind of am because I type like a fucking retard. <laughs> it's like... Like, I was talking to this dude last night and just reading it out in English, it is so, like... It's the dumbest shit ever. It's me being like, I like basketball. I <laughs> like basketball. <laughs> I was like, I played basketball when I was a child. And this guy's like, yeah. <laughs> My it's favorite like, color see? is green. <laughs> no, that's, that's the shit I'm on down here. Me, I don't know me gusta verde. Please do a set. Bro, I... <laughs> 
whenever I do think I know how to say something too, it's like the dumbest shit ever. And I'll like, I point to myself like a caveman, be like, me, no, no gusta. <laughs> like what? Yo, no say. But I, I like tap myself on the chest like a fucking. I, I sound like Yoel Romero. I don't. <laughs> That's how I picture myself. I don't know who that is. The UFC fighter. I'm like me, Ricardo. <laughs> <laughs> me. I am trying though. American, strong, number one, <laughs> number uno. <laughs> you. <laughs> Mexican, <laughs> retardo, <laughs> retard, el brain, el stupido, <laughs> me, me, American, hey, <laughs> me, <laughs> your country, two, your country, two Mexican. <laughs> <laughs> I might try that one today. Who Mexican? Stupid. Estupido. Estupido. <laughs> it, it was very. I didn't realize it until she pointed it out to me yesterday. She was like, "Dude, you gotta stop. Like, stop even trying." Yeah, it's crazy. I did hit the guy with the. I hit the guy with the. I love basketball. <laughs> That's the funniest <laughs> thing I've ever heard. It was, it was crazy. Do you like basketball? See, <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, I'm like, I'm like, fuck, it's over now. <laughs> como se dice, como se dice LeBron James. <laughs> yeah, I got I guess the como se dice thing. Yeah. Remember that? That's the hack. That's how you get them. Yeah. <laughs> That's. Nice. I never understood that. <laughs> it's me saying three words they understand and then a bunch of words they don't understand after. <laughs> Wait, what time is it down there? Are you... Is it like tomorrow or... Same time, I think. Same time? Okay. No, I think it's 12.15. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, that That's pretty cool. <laughs> I, I should have thought yeah, of that before. Yeah, We scheduled this without even talking about that, so... I guess you no, know. No, I, I know where I'm at. Yeah, I'm I'm on the fucking equator right now, brother. You're on the fault line. Yeah, no I, no earthquakes down here. Well, I f found out there's like fault lines all over the U.S. And I think South America gets ravaged by earthquakes every 12 seconds. They love that no, stuff. No, it's hurricanes. <laughs> oh, wait. This isn't South America. Um, oh, yeah. sick. Is, no, they, I think they probably have earthquakes. I think collectively as a country, we should be like, Central America, you're South America. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Because it's not... It's crazy that Mexico <laughs> yeah. is not us. It's yeah. crazy. Yeah, <laughs> honestly, it is nuts. The U.S. is supposed to be fucking the U.S. And like maybe Canada if they're fucking not as gay as they used to be. If it went literally like the bottom of Florida and then everything below that was Australia, that's fine with me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we do need less less continents, dude. <laughs> there should be two. Go Africa. Just become Asian. <laughs> it's fine. You'll Yo, learn to love each other. Uh, just... Your ladies already fucking love these dudes. <laughs> hey, that's pretty good. Your, your women already are about it, dude. <laughs> Yeah, I'll uh, I'll write the fucking I'll write a uh, thing up. A bill. We'll get pitch. that passed. I'll write a pitch. Yeah, I'll, yeah. Pull up on Congress, like yo, join <laughs> join forces. Can Puerto Rican? Do they yeah, vote? But... No, but the guy was telling me yesterday. He said, uh, "There's three million Puerto Ricans who can't vote for president in Puerto Rico, but there's six million Americans." Six million Puerto Ricans in America that can vote. And I was like, all right, fucking better talk to them. <laughs> yeah, dude. Better get your, better get your message across. You... It, they do have like, they have like a Senate and shit, but they can't. Like, none of it matters. I think they're just doing. They're like playing house down here. It's yeah. like they have like a Congress and they have a Senate, but they're 
none of it matters. Like, they still have an American president and still have to, like, like, they can make laws, but if we're like, yo, don't do that, they're done doing that. So, yeah, they're kind of. They're playing pretend. Big brothers over here. Yeah. It is funny shit on lock. having, like, a government meeting, having, like, a Senate hearing, and they're like, today we're going to figure out uh, ha- how we're going to cook chickens this year. <laughs> it's, the, <laughs> it's the business today. I mean, that's most of the country is just figuring out where to get roosters from. <laughs> Seems to be what's really going on here. Are there a bunch of wild animals? Just, dude. Oh, surprising. I didn't see a single animal yesterday. What's we that? went in the rainforest. Not a, Yeah. You would think rainforests have fucking panthers and <laughs> I thought I was going to be able to like fend off jaguars and shit. It was nothing. Oh, damn. Nada? Not a damn. Uh, you didn't see a monkey or not a no, no monkey. No monkeyto. <laughs> do they have no like monkeyto? Do they have like two cans and shit like from cereal? They do have parrots. <clears throat> there was a there was a guy last night outside the bar. He had about seventy parrots. And he was just letting he was he was putting them on people's arms, and they were, they were just stretched out with all these parrots, dude. Literally from your fucking hand to your shoulder, he'd put one on top of your head, and then the other shoulder down, like like six parrots on each arm. It was crazy. I wanted to take the picture, but I was like, nah, this thing. Parrots are ugly as hell. Yeah, for if sure. You see a parrot's face? <laughs> yeah, birds. Birds have the fucking worst faces of all animals, dude. Yeah, it's birds a, are so ugly in the face. It's a dark, scary beak, and they have like old man eyes. Yeah, <laughs> their, their mouths are always open. <laughs> They're always like. <laughs> birds are the ugliest shit ever. Parrots ugly as hell. Dude, I remember. Um, I was. I was going to do it, and I got close to him, and I was like, yo, if this guy looks me in his fucking fi- in my face, I'm going to kill him. Just punching one of his parrots straight in its shit. <laughs> I won't even go to sleep. <laughs> you ever try to knock out a parrot? <laughs> I, uh, we went to the river last year up here. I forget. There's, like, one of these rivers that are, like, just up in the woods in the suburbs of Philly. And there was just so many fucking people there. Because I think it was like a holiday weekend or something. But there was a dude standing in the river. And hundreds and hundreds of people there. Just standing there. And this dude was holding an iguana. He just had a pet iguana. And I was like, oh, nice. that, that thing's the shit. Like, what's up? I pet it. And he was like, do you want to hold it? And I was like, yeah, of course. And he handed me his iguana. <laughs> and his iguana is like climbing on my shoulder. I don't have a shirt on because we're in the we're swimming. And his iguana's, like, climbing on me. And the guy was like, I'll be right back. And then he swam away in the river. And I spent, like, f- a fucking hour trying to find this guy. I'm walking around, and people are like, I like your iguana. Like, can I pet him? And I was like, <laughs> I don't know the iguana rules. I don't know what to feed this thing. This is crazy. I don't even know this guy's name. This is crazy. Truly. It was like, uh, it was like hanging out with, like, a mutual friend of one of your boys, and then... Like your mutual or your boy leaves and you're just with this guy. Yeah. It's like, oh, so you went if, to if only you went to college it's with like Eric. that if your friends <laughs> <laughs> It's like that if your friends are iguanas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's cool. How, what, you what are the green. Story? Did you... you are green. <laughs> <laughs> Me white. <laughs> <laughs> Me no green. <laughs> Uh, eventually I bumped into, also, I couldn't remember what this guy looked like, so I was just, just going. It's just me on, it's just me on Google typing in English to Iguana Translator. <laughs> I'm like. <laughs> you have a notification from Chili's on your phone. <laughs> what, yeah, I do. What does Chili's got to say? Oh, the. Whoever wins, we, we know the party platter triple dipper is the true MVP. Order to go for your watch party. They're just sending me shit. They're like, yo, you hungry? You up? (laughs) You up? (laughs) Dude, there was just... I was going to get... uh, I was going to get my sandwich this morning. And I was on the... I was on the elevator with a bunch of black ladies. Mm. uh, Younger black women. Kind of hot. I'm in. What, what, What are we doing? They they were just they were like mid conversation as I'm getting on the elevator, and uh, 
I tried not to, but I had to cut them off. And I was like, yo, where y'all from? I like y'all accents. <sighs> okay. It was like, it was like Memphis. I was like, oh, hell yeah. They all sounded like Glorilla. It was sick. Oh, nice. What were they into? I don't know. I got off the, I said, y'all have a nice day. They said, yeah, y'all, y'all have a nice day too. I said, okay. Okay. And I left. I mean, are you not walking around with your? Hi, are you not walking around with your sweet Mexican angel? Is the guardian angel? No, I am. But we. No, I am. We we've, we've spent the entire trip together, but uh. That's not good. She, I don't know. She was, yeah, I know. It's been rough. <laughs> she was doing something this morning, and I was like, I'm hungry. I got to do the pot soon. I'm gonna go get my damn jambone and whatever. What well, What was your What was your lady doing? Was she making a hat with a bunch of fruit? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, she's probably fucking <laughs> spitting kids out of that pussy or something, as Puerto Rican women do. <laughs> probably having kids or something. <laughs> oh, my Puerto Rican girlfriend, she's stabbing. She's just stabbing. She's out there <laughs> stabbing, having kids, making fruit hats. Yeah, she, yeah, she's out there stabbing a guy with her babies, with a, wearing a fruit hat, you know. <laughs> I learned how to salsa last night. You and Ben were both salsaing. Well, Ben Ben's gay, and he like goes to salsa school. <laughs> like, yeah. He's going to community college. He's majoring in salsa. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was, I was doing it the real way, dude. Yeah. I had a uh, a beautiful Puerto Rican woman assisting me in my salsa last night. Not too hard. What's the? Uh, I don't even know the moves. It's just fucking. I mean, I have the headphones on, or I'd do it. <laughs> i mean what yes. when i think of it's like just two two steps in two steps out two steps in two steps out oh that's nothing that's any dance no and then you do like well this <laughs> kind of like you do the nay nay i mean nay nay in the whole time is that traditional that pretty thick no i think they were like this guy's fucking as dumb as a person can be <laughs> Is it like mariachi music? Um, no, it's like it's like Elmo drumline music. Okay, they're like high. Have you ever seen? El yeah, you ever seen like Philly Elmo playing the drums? Yeah, of course. That guy's basically here, just not in the Elmo. And they they replaced Elmo with one guy on a trombone. It's like seven black dudes hitting drums, and then one dude just ripping trombone solos. Oh my god! It sounds. It's pretty sick. It's like a high school band again. That's fun. Yeah, very high school musical. <laughs> was high school musical fucking sick? I never or saw it. Is everyone else? I'm pretty sure that movie was sick. I told girls I liked it so I could uh, try and uh, have sex with them, but I never saw it. I couldn't. I don't think I could tell you a single song. I Z think. Zach Efron's in it? He sucks ass, right? No, that guy rules, I think. He was the worst one in that movie we just watched. <laughs> Ricky Stenicki? Yeah, he was ass in that. He wasn't, uh, he wasn't Cena. I think his, no, I think he's just, uh, I don't know. That guy, I feel bad for that guy. I feel like he did High School Musical when he was a kid, and then the rest of his career, everyone's like, yo, this guy's fucking gay, so. Hollywood. He's like, no, I'm trying to be funny. Yeah, you're like a hot, tough like, guy, and Hollywood's just like, you're a homo. That's what you do. Yeah, no, dude, you're fucking gay. Dude. <laughs> Yo, you remember when you sang that fucking song? He's like, I was 12. What do you want me to do? I saw your fruity ass dribbling. Yeah. Hey, yo, ain't that the guy that used to fuck Drake Bell? And he's like, no, never. <laughs> never once did I have sex with Drake Bell. Barely, like, at all. Did I, I, think he... <laughs> <laughs> I, like, barely fucking had sex with Drake <laughs> Bell. <laughs> uh, look. Fucking more like more like rape bell, you know what I'm saying? That didn't make sense. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, more like uh, like Drake. Oh well. <laughs> uh, oh, dude, I just watched. Uh, this is a movie you might have seen, but it's definitely up your alley. Have you seen Kingpin? The the bowling movie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you have seen that? Damn. 
Isn't that one where like Woody Harrelson's an Amish guy and he like learns how to bowl or something? So Woody Harrelson, this is what I made the list of like the best comedy movies and everyone was replying dumb shit, but a couple comics were like, you got to watch this one. And I think Amico or- Kingpin does rule. So Woody Harrelson is like a bowling, he's like state champ or whatever, but he gets mixed, <laughs> he get mixed up with bad people and uh, he gets caught doing a scam and they shove his hand in the- bowling ball retrieving <laughs> thing and he loses his hand so he can't bowl anymore <laughs> and then he has to train and then he... he trains an amish guy to be his protege <laughs> it's so fucking yeah, funny what, what an incredible movie he lost his hand in a bowling ball retriever it's a bunch of thugs like picking him up by his legs and dipping him in the bowling ball retriever no no <laughs> Yeah, it's good stuff. I mean, that's... <laughs> I gotta rewatch that one. Uh, big uh, big Amish guy. I mean, it's... Yeah, that's a fun flick for the whole family. Putt Putt Golf. Pennsylvania. Oh, New Jersey. Jersey always answers the phone. What was the call for this pickle company? I have no idea. <laughs> it's like I'm trying to come down there and pick up them damn things with my feet. <laughs> Yeah, I'm trying to just come down there and sit on some stuff. <laughs> what if I just come down there and sit? <laughs> Hi, is this the putt putt golf? Is this the mini golf? Yes, it is. I'm in. I'm in a pickle right now. I'm. Uh, I was coming down there to play. I wanted to um, get on y'all's courses today. But I'm currently stuck in a vortex, so I don't think I'll be able to make my tea time. I had a 12:45 tea time, but I'm at, I'm right now I'm spinning. I'm in a vortex. Did you have like a party, or are you, are you just walking in? I was just probably walk in there, but I can't I can't make it anymore. I'm actually right now I'm like I'm getting closer to the top of a tornado in the water, to like a tor uh, vortex. Well, you can just walk in at any time and golf. We don't take reservations. All right, as soon as I climb down up out this uh, tor uh, vortex here, I'll, I'll make it in. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> I just had to, I had to do that real quick and make sure they knew I wasn't on my way. Yeah, as soon as I go. You're expecting me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I hate when people book a tea time and don't show up. <laughs> Well, it's, sometimes they get caught in vortexes, so. Yeah, it is. <laughs> I'm in water. It's like an earthquake, <laughs> tornado type of situation. Lady, I don't even know what this thing is. In it's... my head, it's like I'm in a fucking Gyarados attack. <laughs> like Gyarados is on my ass. <laughs> Cancel the thing. I'm done. Oh, um, fuck. <clears throat> okay. <Ooh> um. <laughs> uh, all right. Let me. Pickles and Alice, how may I help you? Hey, this is the pickle shop over there. Yes. Hey, what's going on, buddy? Uh, this is Don Trail Jive Turkey. Uh, I'm uh, I'm trying to come in there, uh, next week and just make a mess. I'm trying to throw pickles everywhere. Okay. I'm gonna throw pickles at you. <laughs> there will be All no. Right. There, I'm gonna pick up as many pickles as I can. I'm gonna hurl them at you. <laughs> what do you gotta say about that? <laughs> Fucking hook up. Yeah. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> Where did you think that one was going? To I don't know, man. Just cut it. Cancel the episode. Just threatening a guy with pickles. It is. I come down there, and fucking beat your ass. <laughs> with pickles. I think he just said. I'm fucking. He said, "Okay." Like, right. <laughs> He's like, "I fucking dare you." <laughs> I'm just gonna make a fucking mess. <laughs> Uh, you I laughed. Body armor on, if, if if you didn't laugh, I wasn't gonna break. I was a fortress on that one. No, uh, I mean you did fine until you said you were gonna throw pickles <laughs> at the guy. That was the beginning of the call. 
Yeah. <laughs> and it was fine until yeah, I mean, you... that wasn't it. Yeah. Uh, well... It wasn't about Link. <laughs> what else you got? Hola. Hey, uh, you guys, uh, this is Staples, correct? Yes. My name's Vince Horse. I'm, uh, I'm coming down there today. Um, do you guys sell printers? Yes. Okay. I'm on my way now. Uh, only thing is, uh, bottom half of my body is, uh, I've recently been turned into a centaur. So I have, I have, uh, horse legs. Do you guys, will that be an issue? Just come to the front desk. I'm going to help you out here. Okay, I am half horse though. I'm half of a horse. Okay. Upstairs is all good. All right, and I also I don't have a shirt on. Do you guys? There are no shirt policy in Staples. Yes, no, dear. So no shirt. I'm good. Yes, I'm sorry. No, you have to bring your horse. You can come in. Yes, I'm going to help you out. I'm literally half horse. <laughs> My bottom half is a horse. I'm just trying to come down there and print. A resume. And you and you going to buy the printer, right? You say. What was it? You want to buy the printer? You say, right? Yeah, but my uh, my legs are horse legs, so I just want to make sure that's not an issue before I come down there, stomping around trotting. What? I'm gonna be. I, I don't understand. What do you say, horse legs? Yeah, I'm gonna be trotting throughout the <laughs> store. I have horse legs. I'm not understanding that. I'm sorry, yet. Yeah. Are you familiar with a centaur? <laughs> no. Oh, okay. You can come in, but then, then you can help you out. You know, you're on the way. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Will you come down here to the front desk and we help you out? You'll, you'll know me when you see me. Okay? All right, I got no shirt on. Just make it. <laughs> okay. You never see a centaur with, like, a nice polo shirt on. <laughs> Centaurs never have shirts on. That's what's crazy. That's great. I have horse. That's the real issue here. What are the odds your last name is Horse and you have horse legs? This is Vince Horse. I'm coming down there uh, as a centaur to buy a printer. <laughs> okay. Let me, see, let me see if I can get oh, one. Dumb. No, that was great. I got to I got to do preparation for the show. <laughs> no, that was good. That was better than uh, any call we've done in 10 episodes. <laughs> Thank you for calling Anchor Steven Sana. We're currently busy assisting other customers. God damn it. All right. That was a sauna? Yeah. <laughs> We're calling it sauna. Yeah, call it sauna. I like this. <laughs> <clears throat> tell them you're, call it sauna and tell them you're Walt Disney. <laughs> you're coming in there to get thought out. Yeah, this is fucking Ted Williams, the baseball player. Can you uh thaw me out? I was gonna say I have a bunch of steaks to cook, but they're frozen solid. <laughs> I can like, thaw like sixty steaks. Do you like uh, Walt Disney better? <laughs> I mean, either one. They're, here's the thing: they're probably gonna know that it's not Walt Disney. No. <laughs> maybe no. Maybe you're right. Go go Disney. Thank you for calling Flex Plus Cleveland. This is Mark. How may I help you? Mark, hey, I'm trying to reach someone in the sauna. Can you help me? In the where? You guys do it. I have a sauna. Okay. Um, unfortunately, I can't be running around to the two saunas. You have, two, you have two saunas? Does no one answer the phone over there? There's, there's no phone in the saunas. Get a phone in the saunas. No. Yeah. No. Yes, I need sauna help. Never mind, bye. Get a cell phone in there. <laughs> <laughs> that guy. Uh, Hit a very. Uh, I will actually not be putting <laughs> the phone in the sauna. No. 
Uh, oh, legally you have know. to you you have to put a phone in the sauna because I'm Walt Disney. <laughs> Is there a lifeguard in your sauna? <laughs> Technically, it's a body of water, and there's particles in the air that people could drown on. I need a lifeguard in the sauna. Yeah, what's up, man? I'm a uh, um, I I drive a speedboat. I'm trying to bring that thing into the sauna. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, can I uh, jet ski in the sauna for a little bit? <laughs> be doing backflips on the jet ski in your sauna. Why is that guy such a dickhead? Oh, uh, yeah, that guy sucked. Dude, I didn't know this was a real thing, but uh, I knew Ted Williams and Walt Disney were frozen, but I didn't know where. Uh, Alcor in Scottsdale, Arizona. That's where they're at. It's a um, yeah, it's like a, it's a facility where they fucking cut your head off. And they cryo preserve it. Yeah, I they just put frozen. It's crazy. I saw about this. This was on the um. This was on that HBO show. I'm into it. I haven't seen the HBO show, but I yeah, I could fuck with that. They wait for you to um, die, and then once you're once you die, like immediate or like once you're about to die, I guess they fucking decapitate you, and they throw your head in the freezer by the green beans, and it's just like they. This don't, isn't bad, dude. They'll hold it until uh, until they get brain reattaching technology. Dude. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> until they figure that one out. <laughs> um, and if you're a minor, it's only $60 a year if you're under 18 years old. I mean, you're losing money if you don't get your head cut off. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a savvy investor. Also, it says, uh, has anyone ever been revived from Alcor? Uh, no. No, well, not yet, obviously, but it's it's coming. <laughs> hey, y'all got a sauna over there, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, perfect. This is Brad Margarita. I'm hoping you can help me. I have uh, I have a dinner planned tonight. I have some friends coming over. Got a lady coming over. Um, mm -hmm. and I have a bunch of steaks in the freezer that I need to get thawed quickly. Um. Can I, I'm going a, I'm to a be swinging by there in like an hour and a half, hop in the sauna, handful of steaks, get these things thawed out, in and out. Um, um, I've never had that request before. Yeah, it won't be a big um, deal. It's like, I got like eight New York strips. I got some frozen green beans. Those are going in the sauna. <laughs> Hold on one second. I have to ask my boss. Uh, yeah, okay. I mean, it, it truly, it won't be a problem. I'll be in there. You guys can have steak if you want. Do you know, like, steaks? <laughs> what could she possibly be asking? Nah. You think hang up? Uh, I doubt she comes back. Hey, you still there? Uh, yes. So I don't. I we really don't allow that. I'm so sorry. You're gonna have to find another way. That's a rule you have written. It says. It's like I have like steaks. I have like eight or nine steaks. Do you know like uh, it's like beef? You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. It's, it's um, like wagyu. It's just... I've got green beans. Those are. These are frozen solid, and I have to get them thawed. Big dinner tonight. Huge. Well, I, that's just not sanitary for us to, to do. I'll, I'll clean up. I'll, I'll wipe it. I'll bring paper towels. I'll, I'll give you one of the steaks. Yo, what do you need? Hi. Hi. Hello? Who is this? Hello. Um, you can talk with me. She just handed the phone to me. I'm the manager. Oh, okay. I'm just trying to get some steaks thawed. I've got, I got some steaks. I'm trying to get them thawed so for big dinner. You want to do it in the sauna? Yeah, y'all have like a, like a steam room sauna type thing. I'm, I'm just on the way. I can't stop by my house. I gotta, I gotta get, they're frozen solid. Um, like, I'm really sorry, but we don't have a lot of that. I have green beans. I could share, like, some of the, some of the, the bounty. Are you coming here? <clears throat> yeah, I can, I can swing by. I just didn't want you to be alarmed. What's your name? 
This is Alonzo. Hamburger. I'm sorry, but we don't know all of that. That's a rule you have. <laughs> Alright, well. Dinner's All right, ruined. Alright, yeah, thank you. Alright, bye. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, dinner's ruined. She said, yeah, thanks. Come on. Uh, that, that was fun. fun. Yeah. That, was, that was a classic. Green beans, baby. These things are Lady, I'm coming down. I like that you explain to her what steak is. Like like beef. <laughs> familiar with... You know about cows? Sides? Yeah. I saw a TikTok. It was uh, this kitchen in China, and they were making a delicacy, which was uh, cow vagina. And it was them, like, scrubbing... Okay. At like hair and uh, tendons off of like a, literally like a cow pussy. And they're like, this thing tastes terrible. It's bad for you. It's a delicacy. We all love it. Yeah, I, that's most food over there. They're like, have you ever uh, fucking taken an egg that was just birthed out of a duck and cracked it open and you just eat the shell? We're eating eggshells. <laughs> we eat the shell. We We're pour out Vietnam. the we pour out the wet part and just eat the shell. Yeah. Like, yo, fucking plastic? Plastic on a salt and pepper? Good. <laughs> Vietnamese people are the dumbest. <laughs> They're the dumbest. Yeah, this is good stuff. <laughs> I'm telling you, man, we've fucking, once again, we've reached the pinnacle of podcasting, internet baby. podcasting. Yeah. We're there. This is good. I like I I mean, if I hope the people are liking this, because there's going to be ten more of these around the corner. I'm about to go to Denver. Drew's going to uh, Australia. He's going to have sex with a kangaroo. No. <laughs> <laughs> this is you and a kangaroo. You I'm and going a kangaroo. And... That's what you guys do. <laughs> do you like That's that? That's fun. <laughs> I am. Uh... You're gay for kangaroos. <laughs> gay for kangaroos. <laughs> oh, I'm. Uh, I'm going noodling next week. That's oh, you lined it up. Mississippi. Yep. Nice. We'll take uh, my damn arm in the catfish hole and bring we'll some honey out. We'll have to shoot an episode while you're doing that, so that'll be interesting. That will be, uh, yeah. We'll we'll document that. I'll be across the country. You'll be in a catfish hole. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pumped. Oh, it's good. What? Uh, do you want to do another call? <clears throat> Um, I can probably do one more. Yeah, we got time for one more. I do got to get ready soon. Where are you going tonight? We're going to, we're, uh, it's it's still bright and early here, dude. We got to go uh, to the fucking beach or something. I have no idea. So it's the last day. You fly out tomorrow? Should I call it? Yes, tomorrow morning. Damn. Should I call it Alcor? Uh, <laughs> the first, yeah, if you Alcor can. fucking. If you can, yes. Frozen pizzas? <laughs> yeah, frozen pizzas. <laughs> Just see if you can buy someone's head to play tennis with. <laughs> There's no way they answer the phone. <laughs> Thank you for calling Alcor Life Extension Foundation. Our business office is currently closed. Ah, oh, they're closed. If you'd like Damn. That makes sense. It's like a Monday through Friday. I don't know. Um, I, I'd, I'd take a... Take a trip down there on the weekend to see what they got brewing. Yeah. Hey, can I uh, come see the heads? <laughs> I don't know who else, who else should I call. Brett, call anybody and say there's been alien sightings. Ask if they've seen any extraterrestrial activity. <laughs> You're shooting a, a documentary know. about aliens in the area. <laughs> like a... Like a golf course? Yeah. <laughs> Got away golf. Can you please hold? No, this is... Hey, buddy. <laughs> how you doing? Hello. Hey, this is Simon Simonse. I, uh... I was... I was... One second, you have to hold. No, I was out on the course earlier. I was on the course earlier. And there was a... I... Pretty sure I ran into some like a flying saucer or something out there. You guys, I've been seeing aliens all over your course. Am I on hold? Yeah, I think you're on hold. Just try a different one. Hey, this is Simon Simonse. How you doing? All right, how are you? 
how are you? Good. I was out on the course earlier, uh, just walking around. I, I do my morning walks there. Never played golf a day in my life, but I always go to the course and just take strolls. And uh, I saw some some strange things in the sky earlier. I thought I should let somebody know. Well, were you on the nature trail? No, no, no. I was hole seven. <laughs> Walking on the golf course for what time? Uh, it was about 7.30 in the morning, sunrise. Yeah. You shouldn't be on the course at all if you're not playing golf, Simon. Well, I, I had cleats on, so it's fine. But, um, you had what? Cleats. Like spiked it shoes. It doesn't matter. We only allow active golfers on the course. But anyhow, that's moot. What did you see? I, there was some, I think there's like a flying saucer or something going around on your whole seven. There, I saw the strangest of alien activities this morning. <laughs> Probably a drone from somebody in Lincoln. No, it wasn't a drone. This thing's about 700 feet wide. <laughs> well, you better talk to the police, not me. I'm letting you know, just in case any of your golfers get abducted, <laughs> that's probably where they went. Okay, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> yep. Simon Simonsa. That's a swish. <laughs> no, that sucked. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do some... In case any your golfers get abducted, it's crazy. That's where they went. He's like, yeah, call the police. No, no, no. Well, no, this is me. We cannot, <laughs> we cannot <laughs> prank call the police, sir. Yeah, they don't like that. They're slightly... Sorry, I... this is... <laughs> this is dead serious business. It was 700 feet it's wide. I had for. cleats on. Yeah, <laughs> I had cleats on. <laughs> I... Once he started arguing against that, I was hoping that would be the call. I was hoping he'd be like, wait a second. Yeah, but he said it was moot. What'd you see? <laughs> what the hell does moot mean? Uh, Connor moot. I don't want to. Connor moot. Oh, God. That's good. God, this is, uh, it, it, it's damn good to see you. Please be safe out there. All I worry about is you getting abducted in uh, Puerto Rico. It might happen. I'm out here acting a fool. Um, one more day, I'm gonna survive. And then we'll be we'll be right back in the studio next week. We'll be doing one of these in person. Me, good. You, cartel, very bad. <laughs> Criminal, <laughs> jail, long jail, long time jail. You, <laughs> Escobar. <laughs> Me, Obama. <laughs> Me, police. <laughs> go Policia. Around, go around telling everyone you're Barack Obama today. <laughs> Me, Obama. I am going to try and say it. I mean, this is basically the prank calls is me just translating shit to Spanish people. Oh, God. Me, Joe Biden. <laughs> oh, jeez. I'm, I'm going to tell everyone today I'm Hunter Biden. It's going to be fun. Yeah, I I'm I'm excited for you. I'm glad you're having a good time. Uh, this has been uh, this has been too much time, uh, too much fun. Um, the first much of a damn blast. The first ever remote digital bazooka we've done. Bang. Yes, we're gonna. Uh, yeah, we'll be back in person next week. We got bang one out during the week. Uh, Call Alcor next week. We're getting Alcor on the horn. Uh, yeah, I fly out. We'll, we'll, we'll figure something out. Uh, thank you guys for yeah. watching. Uh, we're signing out of the cyberspace. Oh, if you want to support the show, patreon.com slash digital bazooka. Uh, we've got a bunch of people Please. showing up there, and it uh, it warms our freaking little hearts. God bless you. Yeah, it's very good stuff. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Rock and roll. Uh, see you later. All Bye. right. Peace.